I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. I'm real sorry, but I can't talk right now. Okay. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <clears throat> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you... Do something with Jack. Didn't mean for the fella to die. He was sick, Mr. Morgan, not our fault. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... It's about time that you started to earn your cape. 
Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Come on, girl. Tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot.
Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. First, we need some b Eight. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! Fish on the line. Is it a big one? Ah, damn it. Didn't get him. Oh, no! a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Well, let's try again. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. I think I got one. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. It's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait and try not to worry. It's 
It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Something's tugging at your rattle, Arthur. Got one, Jack. Call him in. You got a stick at things, Jack. I know. This one's a bluegill. <laughs> Not bad. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace. That it's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Matt? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> Boys getting on. Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. How are you? Good. Thank so we're working on a plan for that train you told me about. the university send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, boulder dash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My Good day to you, sir. Come on, girl.
Hey, you! Slow up now! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Easy, it's okay. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. Slow down. There's a spot that's... Remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, it picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. What are you doing? Go easy on them horses, you will you? See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Get back on the road. Just the action that requires it. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out now! Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. God damn it! follow along behind us. Whoa, easy. You find a good spot? Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. You're gonna run the horses to death. Come on, folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. Hey, slow down a bit. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. Drive on the road, for Christ's sakes. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to... Yeah. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. What's going on here? What's going on? Ah! Ah! Nothing good. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Go on! Faster. Get on there! All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. There you go. You got a big Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Money. Hey, don't do this. Don't do Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, everything you got. You can come and eat this shot. People like you make me sick. Everything you got. You think we're playing games? Nothing else. Don't Make me hurt you. Don't do it. Don't do it. I am a Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? Don't help me. Mr. Why Here. Thank you. No. 
Maybe what you got, mister, you won't get hurt. You boys hate me! No, go huh? ahead and look for the baggage you sure car. Right, you, you show this Why son of a bitch we ain't playing huh? around here? Quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Oh, Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over way. to my friend then. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. Honey, now! Shut up, Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I don't want to get hurt. I'll do anything. Get robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Reach for your money. Nothing there. Don't make me hurt you. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Can you provide the cover? I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. We'll take that. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's a... We won't tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. Oh, look out on the left. Here come the friends.
Let's go, girl. It's Arthur. Wondered when you'd roll back in. Managing not to annoy folks. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Thanks, Pearson. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for him. Thank you, Arthur. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains. Mount up then. Let's go. You know. It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. 
They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yeah! Job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead. Boy. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Anything, Arthur? Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out.
bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Shoot those bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too. Don't get what business is it of yours? What we oh! it's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy. I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please, don't kill me. I'm I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
nice and easy. Come on, you want to live a little longer? You come with us. Let me see your hands now. I ain't saying it again. Hands up. You want a problem? You want this? You Yes, yes, just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you, thank you, you saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay, sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor... Beatrick yeah. Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. Ah. Yep. Look, 
Look, I got the money, but it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. This is, uh, very kind of you. <sighs> Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Aren't you gonna untie me? I'm honest. Really. For the most part. Come on, girl. Follow me. We're in the middle of something delicate here. Up a moment Back. Go. We got to.
Here. Yep. It's all right, girl. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Not a bad town you got here. Is that so? So, feeling better? How's your scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Had a reminder last night why I'm the toughest fella in Valentine. Yep, and that's happened before. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up the sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Good? Sure. Let's go. <clears throat> Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run-in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. 
You had a run-in. I've had a run-in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get a proper view. This way, Arthur. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Go on, give them a warning shot. Something close to will make you cut and run. <laughs> Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That ought to do it. All right. Let's go round him up. Let's go get the strays. You work on a ranch, Marston? What are you getting off for? So, you were saying? No. 
you? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Those cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Yeah, they're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Faster if you shut up, Marston. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Move. <laughs> all right, I think we got them all. Let's head to town. The quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you. You left one behind. Watch them runners. Anyway, you were saying. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Ha! Let's go! Easy now. Easy. There you go! Keep moving! Yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, uh. You got it? Slow it down. Seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> a lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. Well, 
never really was. Not everything, but in the end, Come on, sunshine. I don't believe in absolute, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Napo. Where have you been? Orchid. Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor do I want to. We'll push the wagon. Ah. Arthur, shoot someone! I'm trying to... John's horse, and let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. Push forward. All right, I better get out of here.
So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. So, we moving? Yeah. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Sure, this can wait. You okay? Hello, Arthur. New spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made at Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried-up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey. I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. <laughs> yep. You see there? Tents and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around. Make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about... Thank <laughs> you. 
It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. Hey. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be in camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well? Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Okay. Looks like they go down this way. Now. I was saying, look out! Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Ugh. When you were fishing with Jack? Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. So, yeah, uh, where were we? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. <laughs> we should have moved right then, if you ask me. Masters told me they'd killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the up yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Careful. Oh, well. <laughs> Think this is the right way? Give me a second. They carry on along this trail. So back to what I was talking about. Ugh. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Hear him. Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Hey, get back on your horse. You're headed the wrong way. So like you were saying before, be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look.
Get back on and let's go. Let's Wrong get. way, Arthur. Wait, come on. <laughs> what are you getting off for? Yep, yep. This isn't the right way. Yep. Let's get. Yep. Yep, yep. Come on. Let's get. Here. Yep. Hey. Yep. Yep, yep. Come on. Come on, girl. Yep. Here. Let's get. Yep, yep. We don't have time for this, Arthur. Okay, girl. <laughs> Arthur, yep. you need to stay with me.
The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Okay, looks like they go down this way. Easy. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they put <laughs> on there. Now I was saying something. Uh, oh yeah. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Bastard! Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Arthur. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Why are you riding like that? Continues along the shore here. Anyway, you were saying? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near Whoa. that town right now. Hey, huh? he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, <laughs> if it's John's... Yeah, it must be a good one. Get a hold of that horse, Arthur. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on for a while. Hold up. Let me check this. They carry on along this trail. So, anyway, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year or more. He did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Hey! Quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Easy. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather ch house. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Take cover! I see three coming this way. What the hell do you think you're doing? Why the hell you drag us in, Charles? Oh. That all of them doesn't look like it. dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Machen Sie mich los! 
It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Come on, I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Ja. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld? Money? Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Ja. Yeah. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du sagst... You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us.
Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? Good morning, Arthur. You, you think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? Ignore that. Oh. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. But I don't know. Wait. Yep. Let's get. Okay, girl. Good morning. And have a nice morning, Mr. Like Morgan. Every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down and fight. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. I've been wishing I wasn't going to find out. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. What's going on? Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along over, Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, it feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? 
I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Looks like a... Oh, up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa! Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look I who it I've is. I've gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur, Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No! Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come back to time! <laughs> Got it! Idiot! Now get after the others! Come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. Stick to the side of the train! See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Now he's throwing bombs. Uh, you chop bastards. I didn't do nothing. Uh, go to hell. That's enough. Damn it. Run! Don't let them get away. You hold it right there. Where are you going to run to? Come on, shit bag. Come on. You stop them, I'll stop the train. Bastard. Damn, bastard. Get the hell away from me. Gonna be dead soon, partner. Is that it? This is it. Go on, don't lose them. You're only making it worse. Alloy. I'm coming for you next. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. Guess it's just us then, lawman. Come here. Do we need to bother? Let me go! I can't do that. Do it. Try fighting back. Just don't kill him. Are 
You sure? Sadly so. Then we'll take it in, all right? Come on! Come on! If this is my beat, do not kill him! Now what? Next time, avoid me. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Well, take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds Easy. like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, chop, don't just leave them slumped on there for the whole town to see. Just bring them here. That's right. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. Okay, so these two plantation families, Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there? Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Hello, sir. I can't.
can't say I approve of this shirking behavior. I got all the time in the world. Hey there, partner. How do you do, sir? Move next time. Chinese feller's been taking all the jobs around here. Ain't no one to go. Are you coming or not? Move your ass! Just waiting on you, Arthur. What you looking for? A paper? Be seeing you around. Hello, sir. New in town? Horse brushes and medicine in the corner on, over there. Let's go. If you're the sort who needs that kind of thing. Okay. Take a browse. Done. Good nest for a more beautiful day. <laughs> You looking for something else? Thank you. Now where was I? I... I know. Get a move on, will ya? Hey, what are you? So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good hey. we moved when we did. But that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> Very funny. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Easy now. Yes, over there on the shore. Yep. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. 
Come on, Arthur. Let's go. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us... A much better chance of hooking something big, like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got something biting, Arthur. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Got one. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not huh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Now, reel him in, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Got a nibble there, Arthur. <laughs> Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her. 
in my own way, and she me in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave. She managed to have the last laugh. Nice, you hooked him. There we go. You're getting the hang of this. Yeah, that's a keeper. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I wish to God.
I'm out of pasture by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Hey, there is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round. men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of 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 ground Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks bed. All right. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just, a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shark. Can I talk to myself? What a pair of feckless bastards. <laughs> Was up near North Elizabeth. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work. Yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat half-wit. Guess we all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's the letter? Are uh, you reading his mail now? Oh, Robin and Killin's a Letter readings where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look, we're all hiding behind something. <laughs> And what's this? Return to Tassel Gold. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. 
All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. That's the way it Okay. Goes. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy us some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting.
Carnation. touched. Hello there. Hello, sir. Howdy. Hey there. Hello. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Howdy, partner. Hey, fellas. Came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. You will. What do you think you're doing? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything. Yeah. Box, okay, son of a right. bitch. Think so. Me while I drank. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. No taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Oh! Go, go, go! God! Damn it! Get moving now! Whoa! here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine uh, we showed those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us you did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp easy you're gonna wreck the wagon hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell dutch Maybe. 
if he asks. But maybe not. Careful. Yeah. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined. And nice pants. Oh, shut up. Hey, I'm burning up here. Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? <laughs> because there ain't no... You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. What are you doing? Morgan! All right, let's do this. How far is this place? Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Watch it. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scope this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days ah. after. Easy. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me fee. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time. 
about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Hey. Up here, Morgan. Look out. Okay there. Get along. They feed the horses here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look. Trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. What the hell are they? Hang back. Let's just deal with the rest of them. Where you stash your money, and we let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. You find Hey, right. this is more like it. Good work. Hey. What about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. You ever know 
what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. Hello. Hey, mister. 
Good to see someone who ain't afraid of hard work. Going as hard as I can. You sure don't look like you'd get very far on your wits. Hey, what'd I do to you? Just exactly how dumb are you? Go away, please. I'm only joking with you. <sighs> it's a strange way to treat fellers. Hello, mister. Hello. Lily Millet, you know where she is? Uh, nuh-uh. Miss Millet, the ranch maid. You know where I can find her? Don't know. Lily Millet, she's a ranch maid here. You know where she is? Not sure, but I, I think I saw her with Cooper earlier. You know where Lily Millet is? Think Don't you know where she is now, but she's probably with Cooper. The ranch maid, Miss Millet. You know where I can find her? She's well, with I'm Cooper just... over by the store. The whole oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Damn Son of a bitch! Uh. Oh, you're done now. Uh. Leave me face. alone, Slow. won't you? You've got the debt. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what do you want? Can't a man have some peace? I've got nothing to say to you. Look out. Whoa there. Get back here. Hey, now, let's all take... Don't you test me. You're going to be dead before you see the powder smoke. You insane? Oh, for Christ's sake! Yeah. 
What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Margaret, not madam. Margaret. Mistress of fucking danger. This job's better not rub off on my pants. Yep. him our zebra <laughs> well you can call him that <laughs> although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler oh dear you're missing the point aren't you it's an illusion a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses confound comprehension hoodwink your audience hoodwink our audiences <laughs> dear boy don't be so dreadfully literal Get out of these woods.
Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, uh, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> no, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and, uh, now he's missing too. That first set of shrubs, that's where I left side of it. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. What's this? Ah, oh, darn. I found your dog. Next. Dog X line. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took them. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <laughs> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. And you find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. <clears throat> okay. Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Waiting for her, ain't we? Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look. I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Just shut it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. 
Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... Well, you can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up in that sewn. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. We'll lose an axle in this ground. And maybe an animal, too. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Duh. around here when the dust was up be careful or you might get right you know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out mr. Margaret's a lot of things but best female navigator ain't one of them uh, imagine you're right aha I see you found each other sure did mr. Margaret Jolly go there and fix me a gin <sighs> in here oh yeah it's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat <laughs> it looks like a lion to me that's a dog in there a dog now if you'll excuse me step aside what i said step aside Go home. Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll take care of this.
got it! He shot the thing! Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner! Out of the way! Yeah! Oh, hell! God damn. Hey! Get moving! Returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Mark. in a little friendly competition. You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you huh. say? Why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles would... Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Ready when you are. Okay? Go. with that not one bit what do you say we raise the stakes a little come on to you make yourself some money think. well I still owe you some so come and get your money here you go as promised thanks friend Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Nice shooting. Guess uh, just had the edge in the end. Enjoy your win while we yeah. Yep. Yeah.
I saw my friends dime. I, I saw my leg. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from right here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here, they a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, they reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. I had one of them hair tonics last night. Burnt my scalp. Hi, folks. Hello, sir. Howdy, partner. Never gonna get the hang of this. You want a fitting? Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? But you want another. Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. Don't be shy. Don't Ain't no one around. Just my... You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on, I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation.
I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. Ah, you gonna... Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. Looks like diamonds. Quick, take it before somebody sees us. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Thanks, Mister. How you doing, friend? Uh, howdy. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. 
Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't... Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stuff. It's hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? I swear, they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up.
Dangerous business, the life of a lawman, isn't it? Appears so. I'm just glad we got Archibald here to show us the ropes. <laughs> Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick... Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered. Watch out! Whoa, take it easy. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Careful! He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Bear right again here. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now. Anyone we find here, we bring in a lot. I've understood. Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Me. You boys want right or left? Bill, this way. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Oh, shit. Hey! We got an intruder! We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Oh, Remember what he said. We need them. Why? Let's just knock. Out and then tie him up. Got it. 
Deputy Williamson. I'll deal with him. Okay. Make it quick. I think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. Get him to the wagon. Just drop him with the others. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. you make it real funny, don't you? <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
Oaks. I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Quick, let's go before any more show up. Well done! Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea! I'm sure he can find a use for it! Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized. Been hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Whoa. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. God damn it! Thank <laughs> you. 
Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite. Arthur. I shall. You gonna join me you here? Okay, Uncle. Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing. In. Okay, leave it with me. Keep my eye later. out for some good material. Why are you dressed as a sheriff? Damn it, Pearson. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna hey, kill- can this wait? I'm kinda busy right now. Oh, oh yeah. Of course. Sorry. Pearson. Reverend.
Hello, Mr. Strauss. All good, Miss Grimshaw. Okay. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. Been collected for you. Thank you. Hey there. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab it. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass. Over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You getting many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I only been with him a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. 
Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. <clears throat> There you go. Keep it coming, but careful. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? My father's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody who needs to go to hey, confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. We you hope here for to. some fishing? You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellers know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. But come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let's walk down to the beach. monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with no. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again.
You got it. That has got to be the one, right? It might be. It's putting up one hell of a fight. Not bad, but uh, it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water. See? Look at this. I ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs' boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this, never have said yes to this. Bet you got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. No, that's not it. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure, go on, I'll see you later. Where are you going? What's wrong? That, that big fish didn't scare you off, did it? Come on, girl. Let's go, girl. Yep. Oh. Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick yes, word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? Come on, then, you miserable bastards. 
How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss him too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey, think I say something? Oh, great. Let's go, Arthur! Let's go! Yeah! Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest.
Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go round the back. Ah! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellers. You Shit! Oh, where the hell are you going? Shooting our way out of here, fellas. This is the last mistake. Well, coming from. Look, Mr. Cornwall's got enough to security. We got more of the path. anyway. Come on, Arthur! 
Let's head into the woods! Arthur, with me. And if you don't believe it, then you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick, it's behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left, and I'll take the right, okay? Your right or my Shh. right? You see anything? Not yet. Do what you Get 
between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh, uh, now, I, I gotta get out of here. No! Oh, oh. Don't much like it around here no more. Hello, mister. You're welcome. How do you do? Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now. And you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Hold! He should be here. In a little bit, hold tight. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! Not again, you sons of bitches! Gun them down! Yep. covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Look here. Fine new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. 
For your style than mine. second crew of riders tailed all right then not to mention we ride back in with a big tank and a new wagon to boot dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more danny i ain't sure i trust this new act of yours one bit listen i know we got off on the wrong foot but i got no beef with you I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this haul back in one piece. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! You okay? I think so. Just keep your head down.
Chris. They're not gamble crystals! I can see that! You have some Get it done! Show them. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll? Huh, huh. You've got a point. This coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you. Me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, 
Big shadow. Tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun.
Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Oh, I thought you was already gone. Tell her. I never stop. Yes? Can I help you? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Gah. Hello, chum. Chum? 
Do you want an autograph? Or a photograph? I'm sorry? the opposite. I was thinking even if I die, at least I won't have to see that board no more. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Yes. Uh, I'll remember that one. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yep. Just the way it is. How's it going? I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Glad to hear. It's becoming very tiresome. 
Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly. Hey, Dutch. Oh, it's good to have Micah back again, huh? I ain't so sure about that. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Careful! God damn it! Come on! The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees what I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, We'll run. If we must... Die. We'll die, but... We'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... That he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves, what they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Ha! The other day, 
I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. And espacio. Arthur! Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather, but rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing, even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like... Okay, let's try for another. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We open the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Home O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. There you go, Arthur. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. Let's try for one more and then head back. What do you say? That's fine with me. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done.
I heard people talk about huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. It's another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Another one. Let me get out of your way. It's another one. Slowly. Slowly. Good job, Arthur. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. Arthur. Arthur! Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. All of you! All of you! Get to work! This is fine country. Rich country. Don't mind me. So get to work! Bye now. All of you! We can do well and fine here for a while. They will not think we came this way, so get to work. Very well. We still need money. Lots of money. Get to work. I don't know why you're still here, Reverend. At the campfire? No. That idiot. With us. That is charming as a slug. I don't have many other options. How's it going with you? Don't ask. I know the feeling. Hi, Abigail. Hello. 
Arthur. What? Take it easy with that stuff. This is taking it easy. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think they war ain't never... I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Let's go, girl. Come on. It's this way. On me. Cha! Yeah! You know... I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You Hey! You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well... I guess their gold still shining, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a run-down old plantation house, down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. 
Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Are we doing this? Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? <sighs> got a Gavin gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Just give the word. We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Soon as you shoot, I'll go. Hey! You all being right! 